Hey everyone, this is Lance, and uh, we're sitting in a 7120, and I'm going to show you what the rotor de-slug feature looks like and how to use it. Uh, if you've ever been in a 2388, 2188, any of those, the feeder house, if you lift up and go forward, that engages it. Center is off, and if you lift and come backwards, it goes into reverse. As you can see there, the gathering chains are going forward, which is in reverse. But you have to hold that one there to get that to stay in reverse. Now, the separator, normally if you just lift up and go forward, it goes on, but if we go backwards, it throws this message saying, hey, the D-slug is now enabled, and we have to turn the separator on. So it's kind of like you have to remember that it's in this mode when you do this. So what we do now is we turn the separator back to the on position. It tells us to run the rotor speed forward and backwards with the uh, speed adjustment. And so what it's doing right now is the clean grain elevator runs, the sieves are working, the fan is working, all of the, the separation part, is the cleaning part is working fine, and we're just, uh, the rotor is not spinning at this point. So if you look here on the screen, rotor speed zero. So if we come over here on the, on the console, and the, the rotor button, if we go plus and minus, we can, if we hit plus for example, you see where it says 10 or 20 RPMs, and then if we go to the minus side of the button, I can go to negative 10 or 20 RPMs, and it, depending on how much of a slug is in there, it may go faster and slower than that too, but that's, uh, that's the trick to it, is if you get a slug in the rotor cage, uh, obviously you want to open the concaves while you're at it, before you start this, but then uh, just work the rotor back and forth until it can freely spin at a normal, at, at, it just it doesn't stop, you just want it to be able to freely spin. And at that point, to get it back into the regular normal mode, you just shut the separator off, and then turn it back on again. And it, of course, since I'm at idle, it's complaining clean grain elevators and so But now we're back up to a normal RPM, and if I bring the throttle up, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. With, well, in this case, we're at 410 RPMs because we're running in corn. So that's all there is to it. It's really that simple. You just throw this into reverse, and then forward, and then run the rotor speed forward and back, plus and minus to adjust speed. That's it. Thanks. Have a great day.